So now that we've seen how to work with the CSS box model, and we've seen that we can add margin as we saw on this side, and padding as we can see on this side, now what I want to talk to you about is working with CSS links and how we can make these links look a little bit more attractive. So first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to come back to your files menu. You can select the word home. And let's make it a link. Remember we saw how to do this by clicking to point to file and we'll point to the index page. That's the file that I want to link to. The about page will link to inside the web folder. You just hold it there if it's closed to the about file. And the contact link will link to the contact file. So now we've got these three links and you'll notice that they're underlined, they're blue in color, and that's the default color that we have available to us at this particular point. Now you may also remember if we preview this in the browser, these pages are actually linking to here the about page which is blank. Now check out when I go back let's see the differences in my color scheme. Well when the link is not visited, in other words, when I haven't been there yet, it's this bright blue by default. And when I have been there, you say I just went to the About page, then it is this color by default. Same thing, right now I'm on the home page, so that page is loaded into my cache memory. In other words, we've visited that page already. Same thing would happen for external links. For example, if I was linking to, I don't know, adobe.com, and we had that link here. Well, if I hadn't been there previously, then that page, or that link rather, should be displayed like this. But if I had been there in recent you know, days, or even in the same day, then it might show up as a visited link. Now, why is that important? Because what we're going to be talking about in CSS is creating or styling our links. Sometimes these things are called CSS pseudo classes and I'll explain why in just a second. So as you can see we've got some links in place they look like standard default links by the way when you're in your code view and your design view as we can see here I can select these links. If you want to see these links actually working in Dreamweaver without going to the to preview in your browser. You can always click on live view and look instead of being able to select those links right it gives me the finger thank you link very nice of you to do so so here it is give me the finger unlike when I'm not in live view it's just the eye bar allowing me to select this area so that I can style it alright so don't be in live view you can switch out of that and now what we're gonna do is to create our first set of links and how we can work with those is by going to our CSS behavior now let's take a look here it's not a custom class that I want to deal with it's not an ID or a tag even though a tag would make sense because a link is really just an a tag right so that would make sense as you can see here in my code a tag but it's not really what I want to do so we're gonna choose compound based on your selection now my selection happens to be right now inside one of these paragraphs how do I know that because wherever my cursor is based on my selection it's saying one of two things. Well, on the body, you are now inside of a paragraph. See, down here, you can see the same information as well as the selector. Well, that's not what I want. What I want to be dealing with is this particular set of links or pseudo selectors here. As you can see, what we're saying is here is the selector, which is my A my selector and then there's a colon and it says link link is my pseudo class and basically what that means as you can see here what I'm doing with this selector is saying I am targeting what the a links look like what is an a link in other words an unvisited link one that we haven't gone to yet and you may also notice that I am specifically choosing to define a link first. We're going to have to define all four of these, but we're going to define them in this particular order. A link first. A visited means, well, if I have visited this link already, this is what I want it to look like. Hover means when I put my mouse over it, we want a hover effect. So we're going to change what the effect looks like, usually just a color change. 
And A active means the selected link. Or in other words, sometimes when you click down on that link, what does it look like? Now I'm going to have to put it in this order or else it won't work. Hover has to come before a link and visited. And active has to come after the hover. Always has to be in this order for them to be effective. So keep it in mind. If you ever forget, you can remember some handy dandy mnemonics like LVHA, love, hate. Or one of my favorites, Las Vegas has action. So whatever else you like to remember, here I've got a link. So I'm going to click OK. What do I want my a link to look like? Well, I'm going to move it down a bit. And let's see. Well, I could just define it with the same um, information that these other ones are defined with because it's in a paragraph right now which wouldn't always be this way but if I wanted to I could just leave it with the default font however I'm just gonna reiterate what that font size is and I'll say for Dana 12 and that's cool and for color, I'm going to start with this blue color that we have here. So I'm going to eye drop that blue. And you'll see, bang, right away, already looks like this. Well, let's do something else. Let's make it bold. And this way, we can see that it's much thicker. Let's also perhaps transform them to be all uppercase letters. Aha, uh -huh, my links look decidedly different than they did just a second ago. Perhaps even 12 points a little too big. Maybe I want it to be 11 points now. And you can see that they look fairly similar to what's happening there, but I think I'll go with 12. Nice thing about apply is that you can check and see what you like. Now, finally, text decoration. I don't like the underline, so I can apply it and remove that. Now, it's pretty obvious up here that these things are intended to be links, so the underline is not really a big deal. But if you have links that are going to be in the body section of your design, probably more than likely a better idea to choose that the unvisited link, the A link state, make sure that it does have an underline because people like to see that and it makes it easier for them to know that this is a link enticing you to come click on it, right? So coaxing you to the shore like a siren or a harpy. Nevertheless, so here I have my elements in place like this. Now, you know, just to show you if I wanted to, I could have kept it underlined by default and maybe on the hover state we could remove those underlines. It's completely up to you but nevertheless I'm just gonna say none and we're gonna click OK. Well that's great but it's only our first state. We actually have to come in and do the other ones as well. Now you'll see a couple of things that may in fact be relatively redundant when it comes to what this looks like but we'll put a couple of changes in here as well. So at this point, I'm going to choose from my compound, based on my selection, a visited, the second in the list. So visited means, well, what do my visited links look like? You know, I could come in here and I could say Verdana 12, and I could also, you know, say bold and text transform to uppercase and give it the same blue if I wanted it to. But I could also maybe choose a different color. For example, maybe we could choose a, you know, brown or something that's inside of this document here. So, you know, I could come in here and I could say, well, how about this color? Can we apply that? Well, if you apply it, nothing's going to happen. It doesn't show you the visited links inside Dreamweaver. You're going to have to actually have to check that out through Live View or previewing it in your browser. So nevertheless, we've got those elements in place, but maybe I want it to be, well, just to show you what it looks like, a line through when we have visited that link, like we've crossed it off a list. Eh, whatever. I'm not crazy about it, but I'll just put it in there to show you.